Hi everyone, Norman here. Today I want to show you a super fun way to prevent your stockinette stitch edges from curling. I saw this technique a couple of days ago on Rita Koch's Instagram page. I'll add a link to the description below. And I thought I really had to share this technique with you. So if your edges keep on rolling in all the time, then keep on watching. So you start by casting on the required number of stitches with a standard long tail cast on. No big uh, secret here, just cast on however many stitches you like. Then you turn around and now comes the first important bit, you start on the wrong side. So you uh, purl across the wrong side and then you add two more rows. So altogether you knit across three rows. You could also do, do four or I don't know, however many you like, but I think three rows in a plain stockinette stitch is plenty, but you really need to start on the wrong side. So I finished my three rounds in stockinette stitch. Here I am on the wrong side and uh, this is my third row. And now we can turn the work around and start working on the actual edge. The first stitch is my salvage stitch. So I'm just gonna slip it. And then we can start with the actual repeat. So slip the next stitch knitwise. And then you have to go to the wrong side. And here below there is a little pearl bump here. This little pearl bump. And you need to slip that pearl bump back to your knitting needle. And then knit that through the back loop. And now you pass the stitch that you've slipped over that stitch. Let's do that one more time. So slip one stitch knitwise. Go to the wrong side. Find the little pearl bump one row below. Lift it back to your knitting needle and then slip or pass the slipped stitch over the one that you've just knitted. Slip knitwise go below, lift the pearl bump, knit it through the back loop and pass over. So this is not exactly the fastest edge, but it's quite pretty. And again, it is one of many ways to prevent curling or rolling in edges for a stockinette stitch. And just to make this a little visually clearer for you. So these are the pearl bumps here. These are the pearl bumps you need to lift back. These little pearl bumps one row below. So not these here, but these here, the upper pearl bumps. So I will continue knitting my little edge here and then show you the results. So two rows later, this is the result. Isn't this beautiful? Such a fun little edge. This is the view from the wrong side. Very smooth, almost invisible. You just end up with this one, well, these double st stitches more or less, but this side here is quite beautiful. Now a word of warning here. This technique will uh, prevent the immediate edge from curling in, but it won't prevent the uh, edges from curling. And if you knit a larger project in stockinette stitch, this portion might not curl, but the rest will still sort of start rolling in. So you will have to block this, maybe knit in a looser gauge. Then of course, pick a nice salvage to prevent the sides from rolling in. This is just one uh, step towards stockinette stitch that doesn't curl. Anyway, that was the no curl edge for stockinette stitch. Please like this video if you enjoyed watching, comment with your questions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos. Happy knitting and enjoy the rest of your day.